Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another solar power video. Today we're in the house and this is a video on my mini fridge. I bought this mini fridge in at a car boot sale for just four pounds. And this is a twelve volt mini fridge and it can work off of twelve volts or off of 220 volts. It has a built-in power supply to convert to 220 volts AC to 12 volts DC. Now this mini fridge can it has two settings. It can either cool cool your your drinks or whatever you put in it or it can warm it up depending on which setting you choose. I bought this as a mini fridge so I'm only going to use the cooling setting and also I'm only going to run this on 12 volts as you can see it has the cord plugged in and if we follow the cord it goes over here to my 12 volt solar power system that's the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug and it goes into my system Inside this box are three 100 amp hour batteries wired in parallel. So we have a battery bank of 300 amp hours. And we go back to the fridge. Okay, the fridge I bought second hand, as I said, from a car boot sale for four pounds. And if I turn it round. You can see here that it has different settings and it can run on 12 volts or 220 volts. So I have the DC core plugged in and I'm running it on 12 volts. The switch is set to DC and it's on cooling. So while we're here there's ventilation slots on the side of the cabinet and on the top and here's the back where there's the fan and more ventilation so this is the Pro Electrics it's the brand and that is the information plate it says on the mains it consumes 48 watts and on 12 volts consumes 36 volts so obviously the power supply consumes some power as well this is a 4 litre mini fridge so it has a 4 litre capacity and that's the back of it ok on the top there's a carry handle and I bought it in a car boot sale so it does have some cosmetic damage on one side but that does not affect how it works this is all plastic so this is a 4 litre mini fridge now this fridge is a thermo, thermo, thermo electric cooler which means that the mechanism it uses for cooling is a Peltier cooler so in the back of the unit, you can see there's a metal heatsink and a fan, and there's a, a heatsink on the inside, which is the metal lining, and the, the Peltier module is between the inside metal part and the heatsink. And what happens is that when you set, select the cooling setting, heat is transferred from the inside to the heat sink on the outside and is dissipated by the fan. So it's a Peltier cooler which means there's no mechanical parts in it apart from the fan. So with Peltier coolers they can only cool the, the inside about 20 degrees Celsius below the ambient temperature. So the higher the ambient temperature, the higher 
the temperature will be inside your fridge. Now these fridges are only suitable for cooling drinks and similar items. These are not meant to, to keep perishable food in because they will not cool to a low enough temperature. So you won't be able to keep things like milk in this fridge because it doesn't get cold enough. Now on the back it says it consumes 36 watts which at 12 volts would be about 3 amps. I can tell you from experience that it draws more than 3 amps. If I take you to my battery monitor you can see it's consuming 3.6 amps though I've seen this go up to about 4 amps so the unit consumes between 3 and 4 amps. Now, I've run this unit all night long from my 12 volt battery bank and the battery has gone down to 12.4 volts. So I only run this unit through the night. In the daytime, when I go to work, I switch the unit off to allow the battery bank to recharge. Outside I have 300 watts of solar panels to charge my battery bank. So, so this is the front of the fridge. The fridge is all plastic and I'll show you the inside. So this is the inside. This is the metal lining that forms the heatsink on the inside. There's a seal around the edge of the door and you can see that I don't know if you can see but yep you can see there's condensation on the inside and there's condensation on my drink bottle and I will tell you that the drink is cold I don't have a thermometer at hand but the drink is cold there's lots of condensation inside here which means it is cold. You can see water running down. The four screws are where the the inside metal lining is attached to the Peltier unit, which is behind the back there. So the liner on the inside is the inside heatsink. I can tell you that after putting the drink in here, that the drink gets pretty ice cold but it takes about say about four four hours for it the drink to get cold but it does get cold so I found that the most effective way to use this is to put one bottle of drink in it and give it say four hours to get cold so I've tried putting six cans of drink inside here. I'll just shut the door now. I tried putting six cans of of drink in here that were at room temperature and I ran it for several hours and the cans didn't really get cold. So the thing I found out with putting cans of drink in here like the 330 mil cans is this unit works best if you put in pre-chilled cans so if you keep your cans in the fridge until they're cold and then you put them in here this unit will keep them cold I put in pre-chilled cans and half a day later they were still ice cold so that's how that is So. I used to have this unit in my shed. The problem was in my shed the temperature went over 30 degrees Celsius and this unit struggled to cool them down because it can only cool about 20 degrees below ambient and 20 degrees below 30 odd degrees Celsius is about 10-15 degrees. So these units work best when used in a cool environment. So in my bedroom it's about 25 Celsius 
and after four to five hours my drink was ice cold I can tell you that it was ice cold from drinking it uh, so this is a review of the 12 volt mini fridge if you want to run it off solar then you'll need a good sized battery bank I have three 100 amp hour batteries and I can run this all night long and my batteries only went down to about 12.4 volts so this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and if you have any comments please leave them down below and click subscribe so this is my review of the 12 volt 4 litre mini fridge by Pro Electrics and until next time thank you for watching thank you